Hello, welcome to Design Space Friday. This is Shirley Ross, a Close to My Heart consultant. Last week I shared with you how to purchase and download one of the new Close to My Heart digital art SVGs that'll be available starting September the 1st, and then how to upload it into Design Space. These new digital art images are created to be used with vinyl. We're gonna be whole, having heat transfer vinyl so that you can put it on a photo album, on a scrapbook um, album, but I'm gonna show you how to change it into an easier paper piece project so that you could use it as a scrapbook title for a layout. So the first thing I do is click on images. I am going to go to filter. I'm going to filter through uploaded. And then I am going to choose the one. These are only gonna be my uploaded images. I'm gonna pick school days and insert. All right, once it comes in, you're gonna see it's in a lot of pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. As I explained before, this is for heat transfer. When you do heat transfer or even sticky vinyl, you're gonna have transfer sheets. Either uh, the heat transfer comes with a, uh, a transfer sheet on sticky vinyl. You can purchase transfer paper um, so that you can pick it up and place it. When you're working with paper, sometimes it's not so much fun to work with little pieces, especially like those in numbers. That might not be the most fun uh, to create a scrapbook title. So I'm gonna show you how to make it easier. So the first thing we're gonna do is ungroup a few things. And you can see there's a lot of grouping going on with this image. So the next one I want to ungroup is the school days itself so that we can work with the clock first. So we'll ungroup that. And you can see things move around. Now the next thing we're gonna play with is the clock itself. And the clock is made up of a frame, a white center, and all of these um, numbers. And because of the way that you would be doing it in vinyl, these black pieces are the numbers, the hand and the frame are all on the same one. And we want to ungroup it because we want the frame separate. So then I'm gonna grab that frame and I'm gonna move it over here. And the first thing I wanna do is I don't want it to be a frame when I'm done. So we're gonna come down here on the bottom right and click on contour. Now we're gonna contour out that center. So when we're done, we now have a black circle. So what I wanna do now is I want the numbers to actually cut out of this white piece. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Zoom in down here in the bottom left. And yeah, it kind of moves around when I do the zooming. So I want to make sure I get it to the size I want. That's good. <coughs> Excuse me. And now what I want to do is I want to ungroup I know it's just moving everywhere. All right, these are all in group. Now what, it would be just easy to just go ahead and select all of this and attach. But if you notice the two and the one are kind of close to um, the other one, and that's gonna make that cut not look really good. So what I wanna do is kind of move them over. So I'm gonna look and see where this one is placed. This is where the positioning would be good. So. They are the same place, but let's move it over. Let's move it over to 329, 3289, just to see if that moved it over far enough. Nope, let's go ahead and try it. It might not, I said I want to drop it down. I want to keep it, there we go. Good. So now you see there's more space. So when it cuts, there'll be less light likely to tear. All right, I want to do the same thing with this. My mouse is working a little bit better today than it has. There we go. There's a little more space, that should work. At zero, I think that's a little bit bigger. I think there's supposed to be 1.46, so I'll change that. There we go, tab out of it. And that's at 5.134. Let's change that to 
tab out. Okay, so now those should all be placed pretty decently apart. So now what I'm going to do is I want to select the clock face. So I'm going to come over here to the layers, click on the first one, then hold down the shift key and select them all. And as you see, the screen's moving around over there. Uh, that has to do with the new change with um, Cricut, I believe, with all the updates, things start acting a little off. And we don't want the black circle. We just want the numbers and the clock face because what we're going to do now is we're going to attach them. And the reason I'm attaching them is now that those are selected, I'm going to go to the bottom. That's where the circle should be. I'm going to hold down the shift key and select the circle. And then I'm going to do an align. And that's just to center them before I attach. And now they're centered, which gives them a little bit more space around the edges. And while they're here and selected for that attach, then I'm going to, um, for that align, I'm going to go ahead and attach them. So now what will happen is the letters will cut out and then the black from the circle, I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out to back to 100. The black from the circle will show through where those numbers cut out. You won't be able to see it here because we used attach and not slice. You could use slice, but you'd have to go through and do every individual number and the handle one at a time because you can only slice two images at a time. So attach was the quicker way to do this. So once that's done, that part of the project is complete. Now the next one we want to work on is the apples. So we're going to slide down here to where the apple is. All right, what we want to do is we want to check and see they are separated. Okay, those are groups. So let's ungroup them because we are going to work with slice. And when you work with slice, you can only work with um, two images at a time. So we're going to select one of the little white centers and we're going to select that red apple and oh, before we slice we need to make duplicates i almost forgot that part we want to duplicate the apple while it's solid and we want to make this one white because this is going to fill in this portion once we slice that out and we're going to duplicate it again and this time we're going to make this one black because it's going to be part of the base that we're making for this all right so now we're going to slice this out and slice and then once you slice you want to delete the slice images you don't want it to cut three and four times you only want it to cut once all right now we're going to arrange that and send that to the back and then we'll select the other little white piece and the apple and we'll do slice again and then we're going to delete again like i said delete this piece out and then we can bring it over here and put it on top of the white one. And you can now see the white from the apple will show through. All right. So now I'm going to duplicate the leaves one more time because they need to be part of the base that we're about to create. So now we're going to do the base. So I want to put the apples back here, kind of where they were before, touching both the L and the H. That looks good. Okay. So now we want to try to well together all the parts that are separate so it will come we'll be able to do it as one we can do well now but these will still cut separate so we're going to ungroup and we're going to move these over i want the c to touch at the bottom and i want the s to touch but i want some space between it and if you want you can curve it a little bit so that you get more of a space here so now we have that one done. Now let's play with days. And days needs to be ungrouped because we want to move some pieces around. So we'll move the A over and the Y over. And if you want to curve it just a little, you can. And then bring the S over. All right. So that looks good. Now what I'm going to do is just try to grab just the clock. I don't want all of it. There we go. Let's move the clock out of there because we're not going to weld that now. All right. So everything is touching. It looks good. Now what we can do if you want is to come down here, weld the days together. And then if you wanted, you could have it touch there where the apple's at and then select all of it and weld. 
and then we're going to make it black again it shows the color of the leaves we want it to be black because it's going to be our base so now you have a title for a scrapbook page that's just one large piece and then you can bring in these other pieces let's start with the green we're going to go ahead and click on that and send it to the back so as we bring the pieces in so then this will come in and sit on top when you're done cutting it out you'll do this separate each piece or take the separate pieces and put them together and if you did it right you'll get a little black around that apple just a little bit all right that looks good and then on this one you can go ahead and group that together if you wanted you could have had that black circle touch like right here but you don't want to you don't want to weld now because you've got that grouped if you wanted to just weld the the black surface of the the black circle not the white one the black with just the schools hold your shift key and hit that and weld and we'll move everything just move that to the back it always comes to the front anything you're working on always comes to the front and then you'll only have to um, put that piece on and we're going to add one more thing so I'm going to go to images I'm going to unfilter from upload I'm going to filter on purchase because I don't want to fall in love with a piece an image that I don't own and we're going to type in the word book And I want that one right there. That happens to be a close to my heart image from uh, one of our cartridges. I believe it's art booking. We're going to make it smaller. Like I said, it's those new changes have, have got a few things wonky on this. I'm not using the beta version. I'm using the original version of uh, design space from going to cricket.com and I as you all know when things change you got to wait till they get everything all the bugs um, worked out so we're going to ungroup it the only piece I want to uh, connect to the school days is the outside the uh, frame so we're going to hold that shift key down click on that and then we're going to do weld and I got it a little bit too close if you get it too close on a cut open piece where it slides into the opening a little bit then you can sometimes lose as you saw that book page I ungrouped it so let's move that out of the way so I can see it better I want it to touch but I don't want it to go inside this section. All right, let's see if we got it that time. And we're going to weld. There we go. And so that stayed out. Now we need just to move it back because remember, whatever you're playing with always comes to the front. And then we're going to change that to white. So it will cut with the white. And then we're going to arrange it to the back because it's going to go behind and so now you have a title and the only thing you're going to have to cut out are big pieces and I will show you that um, first of all I showed you how to change but there's a way to change I could have easily come into color sync and moved everything into the sections if you see the numbers are all white because they're going to cut out of that white piece so that will go to make it so I can see share with you how it goes onto the mats so it starts with these pieces and you can see that that the clock face is way over here so just grab it and move it over and the apple is way down here so just grab it and move it up so those pieces will be cut out of white your base will be cut out of the black then just the two apples and then the two leaves so that's a lot fewer pieces that you would be putting together um and remember you can move everything while you're here so that they can cut closer together and then you just click continue and it goes on I'm going to cancel out so that that is a quick and easy way to uh, create a title and then once you save it 
then you always have it so you won't have to go back and do all those steps that we just did. If you wanted to add pencils, if you wanted to do a paste jar, you could do that. And then again, if it came in too many pieces, just remember how I um, grouped everything. And if you are going to want it to have a part of be part of the base, remember to duplicate uh, the base part of it and attach it to uh, the um, school days, just as I did with the book and as we did with the um, circle for the the clock. So I hope you enjoyed this and I would love to see some titles that you've created using something that might not have been uh, particularly meant to be a scrapbook layout. So enjoy your Friday and I'll see you next week.